gon' make it Fuck what you say, I'm gon' take it If it's haters around, I'm gon' shake them If that bitch wanna clown, I'm gon' bake her If it's money around, I'm gon' cake it Backstabbing niggas talk around town They call fakers, all the bitches that I hang around Be money makers, heartbreakers get dope by the pound I love the lies, lime lies, take a picture of me I'm at the club every night getting lit, my homie Blow a draw, pop it more, be the shit, my homie Red carpet, head to toe, you know the niggas on me I see you watching, I ain't stopping, killer for the critics Yeah, I done did it, we done did it, niggas deal with it It ain't no shame, cause that's the name, player play the game I forge the head to stack my bread and count my blessings, man My blessings, man, so Fuck what you say, I'm gon' make it Fuck what you say, I'm gon' take it Fuck what you say, I'm gon' make it And I'ma take it, you niggas gon' hate it Fuck what you say, I'm gon' make it Fuck what you Damn. <laughs> ben, listen. Welcome to One Message in a Bottle Tarot. My name is Juan and I'm your spiritual advisor. Um, <laughs> who is this? Aries? Okay. Aries gang rounding up the uh, bunch. Either you are taking a, an extended break from somebody or somebody is taking an extended break for you. That could be physical, that could be mental, that could be all of the above. I was on the other side of the house and I'm just like, damn, I'm supposed to be uh, doing something. I forgot all about it. I had turned the live on, child. I'm like, I done got up from the table. Yeah. Uh, I'm here in Nina Simone. You have to recognize how to get up from the table. See, I ain't even got it out yet. <laughs> Spirit, like, you on fucking point. I ain't even got it out yet. Uh, learn to get up from the table when love no longer resides there. Or, uh, or what Nina Simone, uh, has said here. Uh, I'm not starting off with the love oracles. So I don't know why this, uh, hmm. I don't know. Uh, yeah, so anyway, welcome uh, to One Message on a Bottle Tarot. My name is One, and I'm your physical. <laughs> physical? Somebody to get a physical? Somebody wants to get physical? Let's get physical, physical. Does somebody get physical? Big, keep your hands to yourself. What is going on here? <sighs> it's a lot of uh, arguing couples out there. I'll tell you that much. I will tell you that. I don't know what y'all doing leading up and going to this moon energy, but y'all definitely having some words here. Um, but I, I gotta get mine off first. Shit. Uh, somebody saying that too in the bedroom. Like somebody, uh, <laughs> what the fuck is this? Somebody's like, uh, let me get mine off first before you get yours off. I was just telling that earlier. Like somebody or there's a masculine or maybe a feminine or however this resonates. But all they care is about getting their needs uh, served and pleased. And they don't put no time and effort in uh, probably foreplay or building up the climax for the next person. Somebody is bad in bed. Now, <laughs> first of all, let me just get that off my chest. I feel like, you know, somebody is looking at somebody like, nigga, I ain't saying nothing because if I say something, if I really tell you about yourself, you big headed, arrogant, you know what I mean? <laughs> like somebody holding their peace. But the real story is, it's like, yeah, somebody's boring in bed. And you really, really want to say that, but you ain't said that because you don't want to hurt their feelings and you know they sensitive. So I said it for you, sis. Uh, uh, bruh, have it goes. Now, Try this again. <laughs> Welcome to One Message in a Bottle Tarot. Six Feet Under by Miles Wesley is playing. Okay? That may be relevant for you. Welcome to One Message in a Bottle Tarot. You keep having to repeat yourself. All right? I didn't hear you the first time. My name is One and I'm your spiritual advisor. Thank you for choosing me because I choose you every motherfucking day, point blank, period. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a motherfucking thing. And like this video because even if this ain't your business, it's somebody. So sit. <laughs> All right? 
there okay uh you keep it real cute for somebody somebody keeps it real cute in this connection either you or your person aries uh but baby behind them eyes it isn't everything the energy is what they are not saying <laughs> that's the energy and what they are not saying somebody's ego uh is is pro being protected baby because if you really knew how this person see you how they viewed you how they really feel especially when it comes to intimacy in the bedroom Baby, you might jump. Yeah, there. Um, Mary Shelley, all right. Frankenstein um energy. Somebody said about like, how can I build a nigga? How can I construct to get everything that I need here? Uh somebody travel with a monster here. Uh also, uh well, fire sign, I don't know. It says the beginning is always today. Okay. Elegance is inferior to virtue. Let me turn this down a little bit. They can grab it. It's 60 under. Yeah. I don't know nothing about the song. Y'all don't have to tell me. Anyway, um, Mary Shelley, Frankenstein, stuck in the castle with this crazy motherfucker and the mad scientist. All right. So somebody is cuckoo for Cocoa Puss, possibly. All right. Uh, the beginning is always today. Elegance is inferior to virtue. Bitch, I know that's right. I know. Do, do you know energy? Do you understand what she just said? Do you understand what she just said? Okay, elegance is inferior to virtue. But I don't care what you look like. I don't care what you got. I don't care you got. I may not have hair weaved all down my back, but I've got a heart. <laughs> Boo rain. Hmm, that's relevant for somebody too. Somebody went on a business trip and saw somebody. Saw Jacqueline, somebody going on a business trip, one going on a business trip to see Jacqueline or a Jacqueline type. I don't know. A slavish bond to parents cramps every facility of the mind. All right. So somebody is definitely could be a mama's girl, mama's boy, daddy's boy, all, all of that. Okay. However that falls. Let me get the energy. Oh, yeah. Two Oracle cards we're pulling, and then we'll classify from there. Uh, you will only see the Oracle dick. Oracle dick. Somebody getting readings on who that next masculine going to be. What is going on? Slow down, sis. <laughs> we going to get there. Not the Oracle dick. She's like, I want a motherfucker to make me feel magic. I want a motherfucker. <laughs> Don't tell that person that they ain't girl. You don't don't do that, especially this weekend. I don't care what that man do or what that. I don't 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 say that. <laughs> Let them think that they doing it. Okay, child. What else here? Um. But yeah, somebody maybe a uh, childish somebody's uh, parents. Or uh, in-laws or something like that. It could be homies or friends. But for the sake of the reading, we're going to say parents. They may cramp their style. They may be overbearing. You know, some relationships, the parents be like in the bed with you. You know what I mean? Like they so much, you know, they know your business before you know your business. Okay? That's too, too, too close. That's not a turn on. That's, you know, that ain't cute. Yeah, Joan of Arc here. Somebody else got that Henry the Eighth energy. Somebody looking for their next uh, person, baby, because they the thrill is gone. Is what I'm hearing. Uh, BB King, all right, Joan of Arc. Um, yeah, Joan was the person that spoke from, uh, heard from God, and people hated that. They burned her ass to the stake, but it don't matter because uh, at the end of the day, she said what that what she had said, and God said what He had said to her and through her and whatever so um it says only settle for eternity love and faith will defeat violence wow be not afraid of fire or arrows or anything that may come yeah i feel like it's gonna be a somebody it's, it's gonna be a few uh choice words and um I don't know, uh, whoever this is, I would just be careful because what you, you know, while somebody may be weak in bed, somebody may have a limp dick. I don't know, or whatever, dry, what, I don't know. They may have whatever, but I feel like if you were to really exp express yourself during this period of time, uh, whatever, with the, there's, there's some violence in the air, trust, because I've been reading the cards, okay? 
Uh, this motherfucker gonna turn into a monster. All right, something you ain't never seen before. You might be used to the sci the scientists or uh, whatever. Even though I think Frankenstein was he gentle in the movie. He was gentle with her, but I don't know. Anyway, I said what I had said. Uh, I said, "Speak now, forever hold your peace." I heard that. Why is Laverne Cox on the bottom of the dick in reverse? Aries, this you? Cross watching? Who? Who is this? I don't even look at the bottom of this deck. Um, but that may be relevant. So just tuck away Laverne and let us um, quash. <laughs> yeah, baby. Cross. I, I was trying to say cross watcher, but as soon as I said uh, I got cross dressing, I got, you know, that type of energy. So maybe that's why I'm going to put her over here to the side. Just in case. You never know. You never know here. Uh, hmm. What is this for um, Aries? Oh, yes. Uh, we So we are doing the For Lovers Only Tarot Series. Aries is the last bunch, a.k.a. the Demon Time Tarot Series. Uh, you'll just see these two cards. I had some. You go back to the other readings. You'll you know see the regular cards. But you two was you know, they, people was messing with me and somebody was hating. I don't know. I'm just pulling the cards from back here. And then when we move on, the rest of the uh, readings will be normal. Okay. All right. So we have the uh, the lovers. Okay. The Empress. All right, so this is uh, definitely a wife or a baby mom. All right, lover, so it could be a Taurus, um, Gemini, um, Libra, Ten of Cups, and a union, definitely. Did um <clears throat> messengers help me out? Did Mary Shelley have a lover outside of the scientists, or was it the fact that the scientists and Frankenstein were in love with her? Help me out! <laughs> like I'm trying to pull this. You get what I'm saying, though, okay? <clears throat> so it looks to me like you're uh you're masculine uh, for this uh the divine feminine uh, masculine connection. If you're masculine, I can't even talk. Somebody just does not want me to talk. Does not want me to get this out. I'm I'm sorry, but it's coming out anyway. But somebody's masculine is basically in a connection, and um, meanwhile they they may also be uh thinking about a, a divine connection with someone else. You possibly okay. Your person is in their connection, their marriage. Um, thinking about you, or also, uh, I think I feel like it's two people in a marriage, uh, thinking about ten of cups with two different people. Okay. On a side note, okay. On a side note. <sighs> the hangman. <clears throat> Who is this? Pisces. Judgment chariot. Somebody's into some um somebody's into some some things. You know what I feel like and this is this is <laughs> I feel like while somebody is also having intimacy issues in the bedroom because while they are Making love or having sex with their partner, they're thinking about somebody else. Okay. And this uh, Empress uh, definitely knows this. Okay. But I feel like she didn't already checked out of the relationship uh, too because she got somebody on the side that's really. Uh, <laughs> Pounding it like it's supposed to be. Yeah, the emperor is getting some on the side too. Here, what's this judgment? Um, I also 
also feel like somebody in a um because they they look pretty androgynous. I don't know. Somebody, yeah, that's why she here too. Somebody's under judgment. I feel like an empress is holding a secret about her mask. Well, this is not for everybody. Again, it ain't your business, but it's somebody's motherfucker. And the signs say I may be wrong, but I doubt it. <laughs> okay. But I also feel like somebody, uh, somebody's masculine. All right. Uh, likes to dibble and dabble here. All right. They may like the same sex or they may like, they like the same sex. And sometimes even the same sex that comes draped as women, you know. Um, I want to be in, in, uh, correct or do no pronouns or none of that. So put in the comments. Okay. I ain't got, you know, moving on. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I feel like some, um, there's a masculine being blackmailed about this information here. Okay. On a side note. I feel like, um, Gemini possibly have cancer placements. All right. It's thinking about moving toward. Yeah. Somebody is in their mind about it's two people in a relationship. Uh, thinking about two different people, literally. It's that one is actually, well, they're both actually, they're fucking each other and then, uh, they're fucking each, uh, people outside of the relationship also. Um, both of y'all, but both of y'all are uh, gay though. I don't know. So how are you blackmailing him because he like women or because he like, um, uh, transsexuals? Is that what? I'm confused here. I mean, so there's a masculine here. Yes, lover's card because it's multiple, uh, lovers and energy and also divine connection here with this ten of cups. But there is a masculine that likes, uh, women. There's a masculine in a fool, um, on connection here. They may also have, uh, Baby mom or children like that, but they also like to experience, uh, experiment with, um, the same set, all type of sex. They, they fluid, fluid. Okay. It's a secret. All right. I feel like, um, you know, your person may cater to this person because of her, however this resonates. All right. Somebody's definitely holding somebody's, uh, using somebody's sexuality or the secret to keep getting what they want. All right. But there's also another, a masculine that's in a, your masculine's in his union with his baby mom or whatever. But girl, all he think about is you. All he think about is, you know, uh, he be with her and think about screwing you. That's all, you know, like you are his happiness. He thinks about life with you, even though he's sitting up, uh, sitting up with her. He doesn't even like sex with this person. He just likes getting hit with this person. But she got him over the balls right now. She got him in a precarious uh, place here. And he's really trying to figure out uh, how he can uh, break away. But I feel like she got him in a she got him in, uh, in a rock and a hard place because of what she knows here. Maybe she and she's probably threatening to tell, threatening to expose. All right. If he even think about coming near you. All right, or choosing between if it's a decision between uh, you and them. Missionary lover said, yeah, That's what I listen. I just said somebody is bored in their relationship and bored in the bedroom. So they are screwing um it's under the table though. They ain't, they ain't said nothing. <laughs> King of Cups here on this Empress card. Alright. King of Cup Empress clarifying the cherry card clarifying the judgment card. Yeah, somebody definitely holding some information over somebody, possibly about their sexual identity, about their kinks that they're uh, into, their activities while they're in the marriage. Like somebody got some, somebody's got somebody by the balls, basically. All right. 
and their, your person may be trying to figure out a way how to get out of this or if they're just if this is a hetero relationship and they're trying to figure out a way how to get to you but anyway they're you know their person i ain't gonna call nobody a karmic <laughs> you know what i mean because i just I, you know there's so many other people that can do that but they're you know the person that they're with has them by the balls because of these secrets that they're holding over their heads things that they know that they'll be judged by you know they you know their image may be destroyed in society and, and all that so they just put on this uh front like they're a happy family somebody wants to keep this whole it's like you know as long as you're here taking me uh, making me happy uh giving me what i want probably bleeding them uh, dry ain't no pinnacles out here yet but um I don't know. And the sad part is I feel like I mean, they're a divine relationships, but still when they end up with other people for extended months of time, or if they ended up marrying somebody over you, they have love for this person. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. I mean, you could say, oh, you married for money and all that, but you know, still there's love here, here but somehow it turned toxic because this person <clears throat> this person um Oh, there's so much going on here. This person wants to keep this uh, this facade of a, a happy couple, this front. <clears throat> Damn, Lord. I'm glad you're the last. Uh, it's a lot here. But anyway, this person basically wants to keep up the front. They want to keep, the, keep up appearances, okay? Uh, what's that? It's only for the camera. It's only... We, he, we might be together, but it's only for the camera. Only that's that's a song that I'm hearing here. All right, somebody wants to keep up appearances. All right, either uh, even though one you're masculine, all right, or your person is uh, thinking about you or thinking about how to escape and leave this connection because all they think about you and this bitch can energetically feel that shit. <laughs> all right, um, and then uh, she can instantly feel like that she doesn't. Uh, that he doesn't want you because that he doesn't want her because he checks, you know, he checks out. And so she's like, you know, what's up there? Also, um, this feminine is holding this masculine's uh, sexual secrets and demons and these things that, you know what I mean? They may have somebody on tape or, um, this is giving me George, uh, George Michael vibes here with this hangman. When he got caught out in the park, though, even though this is a masculine and a feminine here, but yeah, I feel like somebody has something on someone that uh, they may even get publicly, uh, you know, it's like if the hood found out or if everybody, I don't know, just a bad, yeah, five of wands here. I feel like there's a feminine threatening uh, your person here to keep them in this relationship and he bending over backwards to keep the this person happy he also bending over backwards trying to figure out how he can fight his way uh, past this fuckery and um and get to you here but then you have one person that's like if you even think about leaving me you even think about going here and you're uh, their person knows that your connection is divine here with this um it's a definite parent yeah it's a definite parent because we have the king of cups they have the two of cups the ten of cups the empress here the lovers here like their person knows that you have a divine connection here but they're like no you got me fucked up you're gonna stay here Somebody's literally uh, holding them. Yeah, this person. Um, <laughs> what is this judgment? Nine of wands, three of wands. Four cups, yeah. I feel like, <clears throat> yeah, somebody does not want somebody to talk up here. It's I'm getting a real kind of sad energy also um, here. One for this a uh, couple to where, you know, there's a 
masculine who doesn't know that he's not that great in the bed and this feminine is not really turned on um, by him maybe he, because he doesn't have that much experience um, here and so you know she desires uh, other men that really know how to cater to her that know how to uh, pleasure her that know how to please her um, here uh, this person may also be bisexual this feminine here um, but I also feel a sadness at it's like you get with somebody and maybe you trust them with your secrets. I mean, there are all kind of relationships here, but somewhere within this, uh, somebody turned, you know, on uh, your person here. Using their secrets against, against them in the worst possible way and they're threatening to expose them. Uh, especially if they try and come near you. Yeah, Ten of Swords on the bottom here. They're disappointed. And again, they can feel your person's energy uh, pulling from you. It's almost like even if they're in a bedroom, uh, they can feel like they can feel their person making love to you. All right. This is definite uh, vampire energy here. Uh, also, I'm also hearing I'd rather be with you. Um Who's that, Bootsy Collins? I'd rather be with you. They're holding this secret over somebody's head here. Um, that's mm, okay. Um, what is this mission? Oh, well, I already know what the missionary is, the lovers here. And then with this Jonah art, I forgot about the oracles. Yeah, I definitely feel like somebody is prudish. They just don't have a lot of experience. And so their lover is really looking for, um, something more. I feel like they kind of already, uh, figured it out. And while they're sad to be leaving their partnership, I think that they want their happiness above all. So they will be, um, moving, uh, forward to be with this person they've been hooking up with. Um, in the dark anyway, yeah, because somebody done found somebody that they love here. I don't know why I'm supposed to show that. <laughs> that was very brief. Uh, the Ace of Cups here. So, uh, yes, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, your person's energy is here. It's one of those three scenarios. Hell, it could be all of the above, okay? Uh, with this Two of Swords here, this Two of Cups here, all these partnership cards here. Uh, definite Divine Love, but it's a lot of other stuff, uh, too. Let me get the love oracles here. Yeah, somebody turned into a complete monster behind closed doors. And I feel it was within a relationship here. Uh, their person is holding some information over them, keeping them tight. All right. I feel like there's also for this, I'm, I'm feeling just like this really prudish couple. And maybe that is with this Joan of Arc, uh, strong religious, uh, background or energies or something like that. The missionary and the lover. Somebody is not adventurous. All right. Uh, it's a, it's a feminine here that just wants to get twisted the fuck out. And she's so bored in her relationship. Uh, what? Oh, what movie was that? Uh, who, uh, damn, who was, uh, who was the director? It ain't one of Tyler series, is it? I don't know, black sitcom where the girl, she runs a damn, um, vintage, uh, thrift shop or whatever. But anyway, she had the boyfriend who was balling. He was rich, right? Like crazy, stupid money was finna buy her a compound, was finna marry her, all this shit. But he do suck in bed, bed. He like, he like, and he really thought he was doing something. Like for real, but it was so bad. It was so bad. And all sis could think about was like getting her back uh broke up. No, she cheated. No, she cheated on him. That's right. She had one hug nigga that used to really uh twist her out here. And that's definitely uh the energy I'm getting. Uh somebody I feel like somebody's tried to make somebody see love and maybe sex and intimacy. Yeah, bitch, from a different perspective here. And look at that. Not enough. Somebody is not satisfied. This is sexual frustration in the relationship. Uh, lack of confidence. Uh, Self-sabotage, fear, ego issues, uh, jealousy. Um, here somebody may be, yeah, very experimental when it comes to the bedroom. And somebody just probably ain't, ain't having it. They don't even want to hear about it. They don't, you know. 
uh, and it may be because of some sti uh, stigma or attachment or something like that, especially if they have strong, uh, unhealthy parent connections uh, here, unhealthy views around sex and around intimacy uh, here. And so maybe even that person uh, themselves, yeah, they're probably thinking, you know, I feel like... <laughs> Because mm. I have soulmates here. So there is a divine connection here on the board. Mirror, kisses, seduction, stabbed in the back. Grim Reaper here. Heartbroken. Twin flames. I feel, again, somebody just in a connection. And then there's also a twin flame connection here on the board. But somebody isn't sexually, uh, ex you know, uh, doesn't want to sexually explore. So you have two people very frustrated in a relationship and feeling like they want more. Somebody may want something more not modest, some someone more modest. And someone may want someone more adventurous. But yet you're stuck in this uh, relationship trying to figure out how you can get out. Maybe without judgment and uh, the least hurt possible without the rest of everybody you know, uh, looking at you crazy or, or, or whatever here. All right. But, uh, I definitely feel an ending is, uh, coming up here or a decision will be made because, uh, I don't see people just, uh, really remaining in too many. And the timeline is, the time line is not conducive of staying in, uh, situations that where you just aren't happy or faking the front. It's just not, it's, it's too hard. It's, it's not. So it, it's all the milk going to be spilled all over the table, no matter which situation uh, falls. I feel like uh, with all these situations, uh, everyone will three of wands, cherry energy, eventually move towards the person that, that these safe connections and these authentic connections and and all that, because that's just what the uh, timeline is calling for. Uh, meanwhile, you'll be healing your heart. Things could get a little messy along the way. But um, I feel overall, it, it, whatever happens and whatever endings happens and whatever it gets exposed and whatever true feelings and true intentions get said, it's all for the best. But just be careful. <laughs> all right. Choose your words uh, carefully. All right. And that's what I have for you. Like, share, subscribe. I love you with the highest love. One. Thank you, Aries.